Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with the Wolverine.com and Michigan is fresh off landing three-star athlete Breon Ishmael. But before we break down the commitment, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the Wolverine.com just $10 until next football season. That's $10 for premium insider recruiting information. For example, if you were a subscriber to the Wolverine.com, you would have seen this commitment coming. My co-pilot, Zach Libby, and I put in predictions for Michigan to land Ishmael back on November 17th. So we kind of give you a, gave you a hint. So if you're interested, which you should be, make sure to subscribe to the Wolverine.com. Just $10 until next football season. That's $10 until August of 2023. All right, guys, like I said, Michigan landed three-star athlete Breon Ishmael today. Uh, They picked him up out of Cincinnati Princeton High School, Michigan beating out Kentucky for his services. He also held some offers from Cincinnati, West Virginia, Tennessee, Pitt, Iowa State, a couple others. Uh, But the biggest battle for uh, Ishmael came against Kentucky. Michigan, however, was able to. To win him over. Now, if you're not too familiar with Breon Ishmael, I don't really blame you. Ishmael is a newer prospect on the board. Michigan just extended an offer a few weeks ago. The But the Wolverines were able to quickly build a relationship with him. They got him on campus for an unofficial visit um, last month. And they were able to seal the deal by hosting him for an official visit last weekend it was there where he really got an in-depth look at the program had a chance to have a one-on-one meeting with Jim Harbaugh um, connected with some of the players on the team and most importantly he really really uh, jived well with lead recruiter Steve Klinkscale. Uh, Klinkscale is the area recruiter in Ohio and is the biggest reason Michigan jumped on Ishmael. Like if Klinkscale wasn't on staff, I'm not sure Ishmael would be in Michigan's recruiting class. Klink has deep ties throughout the state of Ohio and has really been pushing for Michigan to make noise in Ohio. Obviously, Michigan has landed quite a few, historically has landed quite a few elite level talents from Ohio. Uh, As of late, Ohio State has pretty much dominated recruiting in its backyard. Michigan has been able to get some guys like Rod Moore, who was underrated and has panned out well so far. So Michigan looking to land some more underrated guys, keep building connections, rebuilding connections in the state of Ohio. Um, And hopefully, you know, for the Wolverines, they can make some noise with some of the elite prospects in Ohio next cycle and beyond. You see Michigan in the mix, for example, for guys like uh, on 300 offensive lineman Luke Hamilton, top 100 running back Jordan Marshall in the 2024 class, uh, top 100 quarterback Ryan Montgomery in the 2025 class. So Michigan is doing a ton of recruiting work in the state of Ohio and that's captain by clink scale. Now, there wasn't a ton to Ishmael's recruitment. He was a, a little bit of a late riser, and I wouldn't necessarily call him that. It was basically a Michigan-Kentucky battle. He's more of a sleeper and more of a project guy. Uh, he's listed at six foot four, two hundred and fifteen pounds, which is pretty accurate. Just from uh, you know, I, I mentioned my co-pilot Zach Libby. He's our new Michigan recruiting reporter over at the Wolverine. He actually uh, went down to Cincinnati and uh, had a chance to uh, size him up, sized him up when uh, Ishmael visited for the official visit last weekend. And he confirmed that Ishmael does look every part of six foot four, 215 pounds, might even be six foot five. Now that's pretty tall for a linebacker. And normally you would think, you know, the height, that might be a little too tall for a linebacker, but for some reason, Michigan has been trying to add a height to the linebacker position. That's something I'm really interested in doing a story on. Uh, if you remember a couple of cycles ago, Michigan landed a taller linebacker in Brandon Jennings, but he ended up being a signing day flip to Maryland. Last cycle, Michigan was all in on Lander Barton as its top linebacker target. He was also a six foot four guy, so they've really been looking to land a taller linebacker. Um, 
Now, they haven't been able to do it. Now, they have one, obviously, in Breon Ishmael and next cycle as well in Mason Curtis, who's about six foot four. Uh, he's lanky right now at about 195, but will quickly bulk up into the 220s, in my opinion, or at least at 215. So they've been looking at more height at the linebacker spot, which is really interesting. Some of these guys could, you know, come off the edge and and be pass rushers. But in the case of Ishmael, for example, they really like him uh, as more of a a will-type linebacker. So playing him in the role of of a Michael Barrett or Nakai Hill Green, that's kind of where they see Ishmael playing. Now, looking at him, his frame is really impressive. Again, six foot four, two fifteen, with room to add even more weight. I think he will develop really well under the watchful eye of Ben Herbert in Michigan's strength and conditioning program. But with Ishmael, he's still very raw. This was his first season at Cincinnati Princeton. And you like the athletic intangibles. Again, he is listed as an athlete. The athleticism is there. The length is there. Um, He moves pretty well uh, for his size, but he's still really raw from a technical standpoint. Right now, I would consider him more of a raw athlete, which again, he is listed as an athlete as opposed to a true natural linebacker. I think he's going to need time not only to develop in the strength and conditioning program, but he's also going to need time to be coached up to up his game against higher competition to just learn and understand what offenses are trying to do to gain more experience just playing the linebacker position as a whole in Michigan scheme, which is more of an NFL-style scheme under Jesse Minter. So I think Ishmael right now is a bit of a project. He's rated as a three-star, the number 82 athlete in the country and number 1,403 overall prospect nationally. So his ranking is really low and his offer list isn't anything to necessarily write home about. But the staff is banking on his upside, his ceiling, that those natural athletic abilities, his size. Uh, and he's a kid they feel like they can coach up, you know, they took a chance by really going in on Rod Moore and making him a top priority at safety, and it's paid off. And they're hoping that Ishmael um, pays off as well. Now, Ishmael's a great complement to what Michigan already has at the linebacker spot in Samaj Bridgman. Um, If you've listened to some of the videos here on the YouTube channel, you know that Bridgman's more of a thicker thumper. Uh, He's about six foot one. 235 pounds he loves to just fill gaps and smack people he's extremely physical he's getting better in pass coverage and playing in space he still needs to work on his speed uh especially getting sideline to sideline uh but that's where ishmael compliments him well they feel like he can be that athletic backer that drops back into coverage and gets sideline to sideline uh so i do think the two backers in this class now with ishmael and bridgman uh, are really different and really can complement each other well on the field. So uh, Michigan, uh, with again, with a key win on the recruiting trail in Breon Ishmael, the Wolverines looking to land more prospects in Ohio this cycle. So uh, quite a few other sleepers left on the board for the latest on them and other remaining 2023 recruiting targets. Make sure to sign up. For the Wolverine.com right now, just $10 until next football season. That's $10 until August of 2023. Appreciate you guys for joining. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to to subscribe now and leave us a like.